Hey y'all, this is Sarmanthia with Gun Gals, and I want to talk to you about my concealed carry purse today. Okay, so this is a um, fairly large um, shoulder strap carry purse. You can tell. Um, it has got multiple pockets. It's pretty big, you can see. Um, my husband got me this a couple of years ago, several years ago, actually. Um, it's got a large flap. Um, you open it up, it's got multiple pockets. It's got two big pockets and then it's got a middle zipper pocket. Okay. Um, it's got little pockets on the end. These I typically don't use. They're pretty stiff for me. Um, I don't typically use them but there's one on each side. On the back, you see there's a small pocket here. Um, if your phone were small enough, you could put it in there. Or you can add things in there. Nice. <laughs> um, and then it's got the zipper part for your concealed carry base. So you can see my hand fits down in there pretty good. That's plenty big enough for my concealed carry piece. Um, I absolutely love this purse. If I carry, this is what I typically carry. Um, I carry, I carry on my shoulder. I typically do not take it off unless I'm in the car and then it goes in the seat next to me or behind the seat. It fits my wallet, which is huge, and my phone, which is about the same size. It fits both of those comfortably. It fits my keys. All of my concealed carry stuff, all of my self-defense stuff. I can put my makeup in here, which um, I could put, man, I could fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, when it comes to concealed carry, like I said, the pocket's really big. My everyday carry is um, my 38 Taurus revolver. This fits perfectly in this pocket. Okay. You can see that fits perfectly inside this pocket. Um, the only downside, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like um, having to cross body um, or cross their body to necessarily pull their, their uh, firearm but that is going to be the case with this because you're gonna to have to be able to unzip and get to your firearm. Um, as long as you practice with whatever way you do, it should, be, it should work for you. Um, the only issue that I've had with this purse, the zipper um, where I keep my firearm, uh, the zipper, it's not the real nice sturdy zipper um, like what I showed you on the small purple purse, uh, concealed carry purse. So what I have had to do with this one is I have had to find um, a lube for it. What I actually did is I took a candle, a wax candle, and rubbed that candle on it and then took a hair dryer to it. And I've not had any issues since, but I, that is something that I did have to do for this. Oh, another pretty cool thing about this is that when my husband got me this, he found this on Amazon for me. Um, something that I have noticed about these bags, um, where we live, there's a truck stop. I mean, one for big rig truck stops. And you can actually find these there. Um, they run about 30 bucks. So 30, $35. And if you've seen concealed carry purses, you know that that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, um, concealed carry purses can, can get pretty pricey. So if this is an option for you, that might be something worth looking into. Um, so this is definitely my go-to for now. Um, but I'm definitely looking for another option for me. So anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you again later. All right. Bye.